Hey, 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 hey. All right, everybody, here we are. And today I'm gonna do the hill climb I promised to do with the CYC X1 Pro Gen 3. Now, if you haven't seen any of my uh, videos before on this bike I built, go back because there's a build video and there's also a speed test with this motor, with me on it, did 46 miles per hour. In the boat. <laughs> and I think I could have got a 50, but um, if the conditions had been, you know, right, because um, I thought it was a little bit more in it, I didn't quite have it in the right gear. Anyway, I got the 46. It said 49 on there, but it was actually 46. But anyway, I'm waffling. But today, I'm going to test how much torque is in the CYC. Now, I, if you look at the back there, you can see I got a huge cog at the back. I think it's something like a 51 tooth. And I've also gone for the, if you can see here, I've gone for the smaller uh, sort of ring gear here. Uh, that doesn't make any difference to the top speed, but it does make a difference to the amount of pedaling force. So the pedaling force will be easier because it's smaller, but because there's two cogs and they're both smaller, it doesn't make any difference to the actual um, top speed if you know what I mean well I know what I mean I don't know if you know what I mean <laughs> so uh, I got quite a sort of I got small cogs there um, and big cogs at the back <laughs> so it should be ideal for going up a hill now I'm gonna take um, one of them sort of temperature guns laser type guns I'll take a temperature before I leave I'll take a temperature before I go up the hill and then when I'm halfway up I'll make sure it's not overheating or anything because I want to see if it can go up a nice big huge hill nice and easy. Now the hill I'm going to go up is almost two miles of hill and it's going from the bottom of the valley to the top of a mountain. Um, so and I, I've had to put this off because of weather obviously because it's been winter. Today is about it's going to be about nine degrees Celsius today so it's not too bad it's still going to be cold at the top of the mountain but I'll, I'll put up with the cold for you lot. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, if you haven't seen any of the other videos on this bike, go and have a look. Oh, and I will say, this is a 72 volt battery. Um, it's charged at the moment, it's charged up to 82 volts, uh, and it's a 60 amp hour. I've got the X6 controller and the CYC motor, and when I last took it out on a run, it was showing on the screen that it was pulling around 3,700 and something watts. So we're not far off 4,000 watts. So I'm expecting to go up a hill, hey, hey, like that, okay? <laughs> not ho, 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 but hey, hey, hey. And that's the way I'm gonna get up the hill, hopefully. So nothing's gonna go wrong, hopefully. So I'm gonna get on the bike now, put my helmet on, do all the bits and bobs I gotta do, and we'll get on the old open road. So the next time you'll see me, we'll be on the bike. <laughs> right, okay then, I wanna be going up that way, but I gotta go down this way first. And do I cross this road down by there? Or do I go up, up here? I'll push the bike up, I'll push the bike up here. <laughs> the traffic seems really busy by there, so I'll, let me just turn this down to nothing. Because uh, I'll only end up getting in trouble. So I could be waiting there for bloody ages trying to get across that road there. So I'll push my way up here and uh, keep going. So I'm going to be going up, up over there somewhere. Past them houses, right up over the top. There's a mountain even further up past them, that mountain there. So. Let's keep pushing up here, and uh, oh. it'll be easier coming down the other side of this uh, bridge. Only a couple more steps to go. <laughs> oh. There we go, come on. Almost up there. Any trouble with electric bikes? Is it a bit heavier to push up bridges, isn't it? <laughs> if this was a normal bike, it'd be a piece of cake. Two more steps. Hui. Last step. Hui. Right, and there we are. Okay, so we're up here now. And the traffic don't look that busy now, does it? But I'm bothered around about that across. <laughs> anyway, let's get down the other side and we'll 
get back when I'm over by there somewhere. I'll be over by there at the bottom of the hill, ready to go up the hill. And I'll be putting it in gear, the biggest cog. So let's go. Right, okay then, I'm in the biggest cog and uh, we're going to make my way up the mountain. It's just in front of me by there. As I turn left by there, I'll be going up the hill and I'll be going up a hill for about two miles. So oh, I'll put it in, I'll put it in full power too, because, you know, full power. <laughs> right, let's, oh, I nearly pulled a wheelie. <laughs> right, here we go then, folks. So this is in the biggest cog. And, uh, ooh. You oh, nearly pulled a wheelie again. <laughs> you put in the biggest cog and you nearly pulling wheelies all the time. Better lean forward a bit. Right, so here we go. We're going up the hill. Now, this hill is absolutely huge. And I'm doing 20 miles an hour up here. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. He's going, oh, he's not even pedaling. <laughs> ooh, 22 miles an hour. Massive hill. woo -hee. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, crazy. I don't know if you can hear the... Uh, the motor, the motor's on full pelt at the moment because it's um... <laughs> oh, I can't stop laughing, I better pull over for this car because it's giving the right away. I gotta be careful on the throttle because it's... <laughs> right, okay. Uh, <laughs> no police behind me, is there? Let me just check. Hello, police? No. Uh, right, okay. This is easy! Honest to God, this is absolutely easy. Right. The hill is sort of... a bit of a less of a hill now at the moment. And um, <laughs> this is crazy, honest to God. The last time I came up here, this bike, uh, what was the last bike I had? I can't remember. Oh, it was a Bef Befang. Uh, B oh, bloody hell! <laughs> oh, I'm going to fly off his bike now. Right, here we go. This hill is massive, right? This hill is absolutely massive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. You know what? I cannot believe it. What are we on now? We're on 22 miles an hour. And oh, this hill is huge. I wish you could see how big this hill was. I'm going to pull over now and just have a quick check of the... <laughs> Come on, BMW driver. <laughs> I'll pull over by here and I'll just check the... Um, I'll check the old temperatures. Right. Let's put, well, let's put this back in. Let's put it back in zero power so I don't go flying. Right, okay. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> when you put it in the top gear, you've got to be super duper careful. Right, let me get this device out. I'll have a quick check of the. Right, so it was on 18 point something last time I checked, and it's on. What's it on now? Is that, can you see that there? It's on 33. 33, let's go over there. The hottest part is, let's go right over to there, about. 30, 35. And I don't know if you can see all the way down there, but this is a huge, huge hill. Right, let's go. I've got to be super careful by you. <laughs> right. When you pull off, oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to pull off in three, because it's, it's, and then pull it up a bit higher as I go. Right, okay. Because I, I got. Right. Right. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, I, I, got, I forgot the mic is in my helmet. It's probably uh, making all sorts of noises. This is absolutely mental, this is. This is crazy. Da, 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 da. I don't know what, I don't know what, I'm going to watch this car, uh, I don't know what, um, I'm not quite sure what, whoa, <laughs> why, this is, oh, <laughs> oh bloody hell, whoa. right, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how hot this motor can get before i got to sort of calm it down a bit, but, uh, Whoa! <laughs> it's so quick and up this mountain. Whoa! I can't even see this. What's happening on the screen? I can't even see it. Oh, oh, bloody hell! <laughs> this is just too mental. This is. I, like I said, with the with the biggest cog at the back there, this is 
it's flinging the bike up in the front all the time. The wheel keeps coming off the ground, so I've almost come off the bike about <laughs> five times. I don't know what I'm laughing for. <laughs> Here we are, going up the mountain. <laughs> I've got to pull over again and have a quick check of the old temperatures. Right, let's pull over in this dirty old ditch by here. Right, I'm almost at the top. I can't believe that. I came from down there. I came from right down there, and I'm up here already. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Right, let's get that. Let's turn this off so I don't go flying. Right, let's put this over here. Right, what's your guess is on the temperature? I'm going to say uh, 41. 41, I'm going to guess at. I can't hold it. I'm going to try and hold this. Right, here we go. I'm going to guess 41. Any guesses? It's still on 30, oh, that's way lower than I thought it'd be. I'm assuming it's going to be hot on top, isn't it? 36.5. There and the thin fins. How about down there? Well, it's cold down there. Right, uh, 36.5. Is that good? Is it good? I don't know. <laughs> right, oh, the cold's getting to my nose now. Right, we will ravine now in a second. No, let's finish off the drive because I gotta do I gotta do the heat test, haven't I? So I gotta keep going. Right, uh where are we? It's gone all steamed up, huh? Let's, let's, let's pull off in number two. It pull, look, it pulls off on this. This hell is huge and it pulls off in number two. What number we are, I can't see. Whoa! <laughs> I think I'm in number five. <laughs> oh my god. Right, okay, okay, okay. I'm only barely touching the throttle, I can't... If I pull the throttle, the bike would just be flying away. Now, the hill isn't quite as steep as it was now. It's sort of levelling off slightly, so I'm not worried about the temperature now. I think, I think it's fine. Is somebody on a... Somebody walking my doggy, so I better go past nice and slow. Let's keep it over that side, eh? Okay, thank you. Past the old farm. We're almost to the top. There's a cattle grid up there. So we'll be to the top then. It's very cold up here. Oh, my bloody hell. Whoa! <laughs> I'm turning it down. I'm turning it down. Right. Oh, my God. Right, let's go. Right, let's go over here. I hope there's not, um, it's, a, it's a little bit windy, so I hope there's not too much wind uh, blowing onto this microphone. But uh, you can see we're up the top now. And uh, let's get up by here to the very, very top. Well, that's the very, very top over there, but if I pull over by here now, up over here like this. And I'll stop by here. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm on top of the world. <laughs> If I could look all the way around, look. Oh, I forgot to turn the flipping thing off. <laughs> oh my God. I, I pressed on the pedal then. And I, <laughs> the bike nearly went flying. Um, because uh, I haven't put the brake sensors on yet, because they're hard to, cause they don't actually go very well with these brakes I bought. But, um, oh, so I'm, as you can see, I'm, you can see all the mountains around me. Actually, I can see the sea down there. Uh, the sun's that way though. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm level with all the top of the mountains in, and I'm in South Wales. So you can see I've gone pretty high. And that was, honest to God, I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe how strong this mountain is. Um, I know it's only like almost 4,000 watts, but you've got to realise that it's geared. And I put it on the big, let me just show you. It's on the biggest cog there. And you, if you just touch the throttle, it's kept the front end's flying up. So if I, if I went too fast, it'd be mental. But um, I'm up here. It is very, very windy, i got to say. It is very windy. But uh, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. And I do apologise if um, <laughs> if I got a bit loud in the microphone. And i, I got to say as well, this motor has got... Um, I think the cheap ones are called... Are they called cadence sensors on the pedaling? 
I think that's the cheap ones. This has actually got torque sensing. So it's not like, this one is the harder you push, the more assistance it gives you. So it's, it's very sort of intuitive, if that's the right word. Um, whereas the cheaper e-bikes you buy, they have like a thing that senses if the pedals are going round. So basically it's more, more like, it's like on and off basically. Um, but this is way more, way, way, way more um, sense. Uh, what's, that, what's the word? What did I just say? I can't remember what I just used. <laughs> intuitive, that's the right word, yeah. Intuitive, it's way more intuitive. But um, yeah, right, I'm going to go for a ride up there a minute. Uh, I can see loads of wind turbines. I wonder if I can plug in. <laughs> anyway, it's a ha I don't know if you can see down by there. It might not pick up on the camera, but there's a, an old farmhouse there. And it's been abandoned for, oh, 20 odd years. It's a shame, isn't it? It'd be nice to live there. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute when I've calmed down from this. Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, I have to say, I've been driving around on this bike up here on the mountain now for about 20 minutes. And i got to say, if you're in any doubt about getting a CYC motor, especially this Gen 3 X1 Pro, I think, that, well, it's X1 Pro Gen 3. <laughs> I know it's expensive. It's just over a little bit of a thousand pounds, but um, it's such a good motor. It, it, it is a, such, a, such a good motor. I mean, if you compared it to the stock, uh, BBHSD or whatever it is, it blows it out of the water. But it is almost double the price. But it absolutely obliterates it. Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic it is. I mean, cool, blimey. Plenty of torque, plenty of power. You know, it is fantastic. I don't know if you can hear it. It's a little bit, um, when you're in the highest gear, like I got in the biggest cog there, Obviously, the, the, the motor is going to be spinning fast, um, so you can hear it a little bit. But it's not awful when you've got a helmet on, so it's not, like, uh, terrible. And people can hear you come in, so <laughs> you don't need to ring a bell. So that's, that's the one good thing about it. But um, I have been up here on e-bikes a few times, I think. I can't be on a couple of other e-bikes. Back in my other videos, uh, you know, I've done quite a few videos. And uh, I think I can be on a fat bike as well. And another bike, I can't remember the other bike. <laughs> I've been up here a few times anyway. But um, let's turn it off a second. This is, I wish I had the uh, brake le le lever switches on because I can just hold that and then I know it's not going to run away. I've got to keep turning it off all the time. Um, but I was on 80, I was on 80.4 volts. Um, before I came up that hill, I think it was something like that. And look, that hill didn't hardly take anything out of it. <laughs> it's, it's because the bike is, I suppose, it's quite a light bike, uh, and the big wheels. It's, it's easy to, it's easy to pedal as well. Even though I got this, this big tank on here, which is weighty, and the motor, which is not that weighty, I could still actually pedal this bike as a bike, <laughs> uh, and it's got loads of power. But uh, I don't know. The Seaway Sea Motor, I recommend it highly. And you can see that hill was almost two miles high and I got to, was it 36 or 37? I'll have to look back in the video. I don't think that's bad. I'm not quite sure, but I think that's pretty good. Um, for electronics, I think that's a reasonable sort of heat. Like I said, if I put in a lower gear, um, then it would have been, it would have got a lot hotter, wouldn't it? Uh, but I was doing 22 miles an hour up a steep hill, so that's fine. And it wasn't like slowing down or anything. I was only limited by the, how big a gear I had, so the motor was spinning fast. I probably could have gone the next gear down, it would have been fine. But um, it's best to keep it a high gear when you're up doing hills like that. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to head back down now. I'm up in this mountain. This used to be a forestry up here, but the, the trees look a bit 
There's still a forestry over there, but the trees look a bit... <laughs> they look a bit ransacked, don't they? Especially that one there, look. <laughs> uh, that's beer, that one is. But, um, yeah, there used to be a forestry up here, and then somebody's come and dumped all stuff up here, so I don't know what's going on. That's it, isn't it? Terrible, isn't it? People dumping stuff everywhere. Seems like... I reckon he was the farmer. Because <laughs> uh, you see the farmer sometimes picking rubble up for a, a few quid on the side. But anyway, as you can see, I am at the top of the mountain. That's the very top there, I suppose. But um, I'm going to make my way back down. And uh, I'll see you when I get back to the house, I suppose. <laughs> back safe and sound and I gotta say this bike is a beast <laughs> climbs up hills it just eats hills it's just it just it was so easy for the bike and uh, I could have gone in a lower gear so I would have had a higher top speed going up the hill um, but I put it in the biggest cog just to be on the safe side and see what kind of temperatures it would be and I think I could have gone maybe one or two cogs down lower and I think it still would have been a fine um, <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed myself. So, um, yeah, there it is. The CYC X1 Pro Gen 3. That little tiny motor there. That little tiny motor chucking out all that torque and power. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? Um, and like I said, I absolutely loved it. I enjoyed it. So, um, if you like this video, go on. Give it a like, because if you give it a like, look, right, it boosts my video. If you comment below as well, that boosts my video, and then more people see it. So go on, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hoo-hoo!